again, the real Jenny Lynn. And just to keep it all the way real with you guys, I actually was on my way out of the door. I just got off of work. And if you watch my channel, you already know that I work from home. So I hopped in the shower and I turned on my TV. And why did I do that? Why, why, why? <laughs> So I turned on the channel to YouTube just to kind of have something playing in the background while I was putting my clothes on. And who pops up on my lovely YouTube screen? Kevin Samuels. God, I feel like I cannot escape him. To be honest with you, I don't even know if I am following him, but I'm assuming that I am because he popped up in my recommended. But anyway, let me just tell you guys what I saw. So if this is something you are interested in, please keep watching. Okay, so I was watching his channel and he had a young lady on there that she said she was, I think she said 25, has a bachelor's degree in like sports medicine. Do you guys know that this man told this young lady that she is useless? The career she picked is useless. She is useless because she said that she wants to get back in the dating scene when she's around 28 years old. You fat, stinking, and you ugly. Okay. You fat, you stink, and you ugly, and you broke, monkey. Women, if you feel that you are at the point that you are not ready to be a wife, that is okay. No one can tell you how you feel and what you are ready for. Kevin Samuels told her that being in a marriage is all about duty and responsibility. This woman is 25 years old. What 25 year old woman do you know that wants to hear that you are signing her up for duty and responsibility? That's not something that a woman, especially not a black woman, wants to hear. I think about myself as a young, vibrant, beautiful 25 year old and that's not what I wanted to do. that I'm not ready for, that I don't want to do. I am older than 25 years old, and if you tell me right now that you signed me up for duty and responsibility, I don't want it. Do you want more? No, thank you. <laughs> Women, it is okay if you are 25 years old and you feel that you are not ready to be a wife or you are not ready to be a mother. <laughs> Today. You'll see if you have a trap time in marrying you. You know, Pam sure stay fine after all these years. She got it all through there. Mm -hmm. Come in, Basil. Yeah. Give me the lunch. Oh, mm -hmm. the lunch, baby, please. Mm -hmm. No, 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 with the lights on, baby, please. You, know. you better get used to it, because you're stuck with me forever. Now, give me the paycheck. Can't take these children, because I'm tired of dealing with this by myself. What the? What the hell? $35 for two men doing? He is not a licensed relationship therapist. He does not have all the answers. Halfway. So, take a few steps back. Go you ain't got the answers, forward. man. You ain't yeah. got the answers. I, you, you ain't got you, the answers. If, if you you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Kanye. He doesn't have any of the answers. If you guys are calling in, getting advice from someone that's not married, not in a healthy relationship, why do y'all think that he is just the godfather and he can really give y'all good advice on what it is y'all need to do in order to have a healthy, happy relationship? He is not the one. I, 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 I want the knife.
Women, it is okay if you do want to seek out a relationship therapist that can tell you what you should or shouldn't do in order to put yourself in a healthy, happy relationship. One woman called in and he sat up there and he told this woman that she was fat. What is an Opa Lupa? And she, I think, was a, a psychologist or a therapist or something. And he told her that he couldn't believe that she was passing out advice and she was fat. What? <laughs> what? So you mean to tell me, women, you guys are calling in here so someone can verbally abuse you and tell you that you are fat and useless? Come on, black women. We have to do better. And then this is the funniest thing about this whole my Kevin Samuels uh, segment of my show. Um, let me first just start off by saying I do appreciate all of the gentlemen, whether you're black, white, Hispanic, whatever. Uh, leaving a comment in the comment section on what you think and uh, voicing your opinions about this uh, very rough subject. <laughs> Because when you talk about Mars versus Venus, it goes into it. I just say that to say, none of us have all of the answers on what makes the perfect relationship. We really don't. We are all trying to navigate this whole relationship, men, women thing together. So he's not the godfather. He does not have all the answers. If he had all the answers, do you think that he would be online every single day for four or five hours bashing black women no he would be somewhere loving his woman kissing his woman taking care of her he wouldn't be thinking about all of these black women that he's dropping down to the floor and bashing so hard he would be too busy loving on his woman and women what are we doing uh, and i go back to say i don't think that there's anything wrong with healthy happy relationships or marriages I personally feel like for me right now, that is not the space that I am in. That's not something that I'm signing up for or something that I want. But it bothers me when women call him seeming extremely desperate, like they just will listen to anything that he says in order to get a man. I said this over and over again on my last video about Kevin Samuels. Stop calling him! If you think that you need relationship help or relationship advice, get a relationship therapist. Let them tell you that, you know, this is what you need to do or that's what you need to do. Because he's not helping women. He's just making us look bad. Look really, really, really bad. Well, you know what, guys? It's 5.30. I do need to go and run my errands. It is a beautiful day today. And that's one thing that I love. I love life. I love being able to just work, be with my family, be with my friends, and just enjoy. I'm so blessed and so thankful that I still have my mom and dad here with us. Been married for over 40 years. And I love on them and they love on me. And I'm not able to see them all the time because I do work a lot. But my mom and dad know that I just love them to pieces. That is actually going to end this video. I am going to get out of here. Guys, whether you are in a relationship, out of a relationship, married, whatever the case is. When you see a black woman today, what I want you to do to make someone else's day Tell her, hey sister, how you doing? You are beautiful and you are loved. And then keep on pushing. Because I want that one black woman that you come into contact with. And I want her to be someone that you don't know. To feel loved, feel appreciated, and feel like like I feel about my black men. Even though I'm not in a relationship. that you got, I feel like you guys are amazing. And I don't want my black men to be tainted by the words of K.S. <laughs> so that will end this video guys I love you all and I will see you all in the next one